here with Dr. Heidi here today. And he had an experience with the PCID. I think that uh, it would be nice to show some of the work we've done thus far. What I like about the PCID is that you can program the settings and you can imitate manual oscillation. All of it, I, I tried many different uh, motorized uh, devices and only, more, more, only uh, rotational or also oscillation, but you could never program it. You could never uh, program it down to so, so few oscillations per minute. Mm -hmm. And you can, the good thing is you can combine rotation and oscillation and you can program it the way you want it. Uh, there's no other machine. Yeah, there's no machine that has rotation plus oscillation in the given cycle. Now, we also know that every patient is different, right? Yes. So we, we know that if we're going to be successful in any individual patient, we have to program specific settings for the individual patient, right? That's correct. And is there any other machine that allows you to program the settings to, to the optimal settings for an individual patient? No other. I've tried numerous ones, no other. So for a long time, I'm in favor of uh, manual um, extraction, manual harvesting. And what I like about the PCAD is that you can really imitate the manual extraction and program it with very different settings that you can. And do it nicely. We imitate the manual expression. Well, I noticed today that you went through a number of different programmable protocols. Would you explain what protocols seem to work best for you? Yes. The best protocol for me is to work with uh, rotary oscillation. That means an initial very short rotation to cut through the epidermis and then. You can dissect the tissue sort of blunt with tiny oscillations in an angle of 100 degrees. And you dissect the tissue scoring uh, through a certain depth, you have depth control as well. And you can do the, also the, the, the rotations or the oscillations per minute. You can load them, you can imitate them manual extraction, but much less fatigue. Ah, I see. So you eliminate the amputee exactly. and the machine does some work. Exactly. Now, um, you can also vary the, uh, the not only the, the rate of oscillation, but also the, uh, the angle of oscillation of the heart. Absolutely. Yeah. You consider this important? Well, my feeling is the more, the bigger the angle, Mm -hmm. Then you come to what's rotation, and in rotation you have always the yeah. spin, the spin, yeah. and the yeah. danger of, of spinning the graphs too much. Solid the force you have, yeah. So what uh, what angle did you find was the best? Well, I tried many different angles, but the best, and the most again, the most similar to uh, into manual extraction, I find the hundreds. Awesome. Yeah. But of course, this might vary from one patient to another. Absolutely. Yeah. So today I did one, yeah. but I would definitely use it again.